This is chapter four, practice exam number seven. We've got the sign hanging from these wires and we wanna find the tension in each wire. Okay, so free body diagram. Always a good place to start. Um, I'm gonna go for a standard thing this time. Especially since this thing is not going anywhere. Okay, forces. Well, got its weight. 150 newtons. We've got two different tensions, so I'm gonna have to name them. Um, I'm gonna go with the one that's kind of on the left. I'm gonna call that T1. And the one that's like kind of on the right and is really, really uppish. Okay, like that. I'm gonna call it T2. It really doesn't matter if you switch them. Um, I'm just looking for the two answers in the end. I don't care if it's T1 and T2 or T2 and T1. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Now, according to this, T1, uh, if this angle is 52, then this angle should be 52. A little geometry there. And if this angle is 75, then this angle should be 75. Okay. So. How do we do this? Well, I'm going to have to do Newton's second law in X and Y. Now that we have the picture, I can go full screen. We don't need to look again. Okay, so in the X direction, well, positively, I've got T2, but not all of it, just the X component of T2. So that's going to be T2 cosine 75 in the negative x direction see the negative right there negative that I don't know what I was doing right there no idea negative there okay I've got t1 but just the x component so it's gonna be t1 cosine 52 equals mass times acceleration in the x direction and, hey, we said this thing was at rest, so the acceleration will be zero. I'm going to put that in now. Why wait? Zero. Notice that means the mass of this sign doesn't really matter. Okay. Also, the weight in the x direction does not, doesn't show up. So this, this is basically what we have right now. I'm going to do this again in the y direction. F net y equals... M, A, Y. In the Y direction, both T1 and T2 are near positive Y, so they're both going to be positive, but I need to use just the Y component, so I'm going to have T1 sine 52 plus T2 sine 75, and then this 150 is down, straight down, so I don't need any angles involved, equals still zero. A, Y is going to be zero. There. Okay. So what I have is two equations and two unknowns, T1 and T2. At this point, it's totally up to you which one you want to solve for or how you want to solve for it or whatever. Um, I'm going to use substitution because it's my favorite. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and solve for T2. If I solve for T2 over here, what I get is T1 cosine 52 over cosine 75. That's what comes up. And I'm going to put that up over here. So T1 sine 52 plus replace T2. I got T1 cosine 52 over cosine 75. I still got this sine 75 here, don't forget it. Minus 150 equals zero. Okay, well, that's a lot of stuff. I think it's time to start putting some numbers in. Well, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move that 150 over here. And I'm going to factor out a T1 on this side. And I get I 
I should be talking. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. I hope I'm getting this right. Ugh. Whew. Okay, that that that's a lot of junk. Um, I end up with T1 equals 150 all over all this junk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this junk in my calculator because this that's too much junk. Okay, so I just I threw all this in my calculator. And gosh, I hope I did it right. If if I did it wrong, please let me know. Like if you're going along and you're like, "Ah, that's not what I got." Um yeah, put a comment in here or contact me on the blog, please. Anyway, that means that T1 ends up being 48.6 newtons. So that's one answer. And then T2, I just need to go put this one over in here. And I get that T2 equals uh, 115, no, 116 newtons. Okay, let me just check to see if that makes sense. So this thing weighs 150. Looks like T2 is taking the brunt of the weight. That makes sense. T1 is really just there to counteract a little bit to the right that T2 has. Yeah, and hold up a little bit. Okay, yeah, th th those numbers make some sense. Okay, let's talk about points. Okay. Point. Newton's Law. Point. Putting in the correct stuff for net force. Point. Acceleration is zero. Point. Newton's Second Law. Point. Correct stuff for net force. Oh, sorry. All of this. Point. Acceleration is zero. That's six. Algebra happens. I'm not giving any points for that. Um, point for each answer, point for each unit. Notice that these aren't actually tied to T1 and T2 because you might have called this T1 and that T2. Doesn't matter. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's 10. Okay.